think Alzheimer's disease and you probably picture symptoms like disorientation and memory loss. <laughs> but doctors say there are other early warning signs that may surprise you. And the earlier Alzheimer's can be diagnosed, the more treatments can help. We can actually push back or delay the onset of dementia. Neurologist Dr. Gabriel Legere runs the memory clinic at UC San Diego Health. He says one of the most common early warning signs of Alzheimer's is also one of the most overlooked. New struggles with driving. That ability for the different parts of the brain to talk to each other is impaired. And so decisions are not made as quickly. Judgment is off a little bit. Peter Lucchini and his wife Lynn say years before his Alzheimer's diagnosis, driving started to be challenging for him. We're driving places and he's making a weird left turn or not interpreting the signs. I just had to be more careful and more cautious. Things were not as easy to me. Lynn says she thought he was just distracted with work. But then she noticed another change. She says during family visits, Peter would become withdrawn or sometimes combative. He just sort of said, I, I can't follow the fast conversation. <laughs> it's kind of like, come on, it's your family. They don't visit very often. You know, snap out of it. <laughs> but experts say personality changes in social situations can be an early warning sign of Alzheimer's. There can be a reduction in social activities with the family or with the kids in part because these things do require more attention and it's tiring and difficult to do. Lynn says she knew something was really wrong when Peter started having trouble finding simple things like items in a drawer. I asked Lynn, where is such and such? And she said, it's right there in front of you. I says, oh, now I see it. He wouldn't see the peanut butter in the cabinet, right? And then I'd point it out and he's like, I'm an idiot. Experts say a difficulty seeing things can be another early warning sign. Our ability to effectively scan is actually degraded as Alzheimer's disease sets in. Uh, so it's not infrequent for somebody to complain. Uh, I sent him to the refrigerator to get the milk and he just couldn't find it and it was right there in front of him. Okay. When Peter's vision was checked and came back normal, Lynn took him to a neurologist and shared her concerns. Only then was Peter correctly diagnosed with early onset Alzheimer's. I would still be beating myself up if she had not uh, uh, advocated for me. She raised the right flag to the neurologist. And soon, early diagnosis may get a lot easier thanks to the incredible power of AI. I think it really would be revolutionary. Dr. David Jones runs the Neurology AI program at the Mayo Clinic. Using AI, his team analyzed brainwave data from thousands of patients and isolated flaws in those with Alzheimer's. Now he wants to develop a head cap like this for people to use at home that would scan your brainwaves for early signs of the disease. How far away are you from being able to do that? I would say anywhere from five to 10 years, could be less than that, but it's gonna happen uh, sometime soon. Since his early diagnosis, Peter says medication has helped stabilize his symptoms, giving him precious extra time with family before Alzheimer's takes over. It freed me up to move forward and live life more. So courageous for Peter mm. to share his story. You mentioned yeah. this medication that was helping stabilize him, his symptoms. And so many people think once you get that diagnosis, there's nothing you can do. But he, he's taking something. What is it? Well, right now, there aren't many treatments, Savannah. You're right. But there are things that you can do. For example, Peter is taking a drug to help with memory. He's also taking an antidepressant for mood. There's also an FDA-approved drug called Lequembi. We did a story on that a while back. That's given through an IV, and that can help delay more serious symptoms in the early stages. And Peter says he is considering that as well. But experts say that the real breakthrough is in using AI to diagnose patients early. So many people are in the early stages of Alzheimer's. They get misdiagnosed, and for years they go back and forth. And there aren't that many neurologists, actually, who can actually properly diagnose. But hopefully AI will change that, and then that will bring even better treatments to help delay the symptoms. So it's a, an exciting field. People want it to be you know, quicker than it is, but 
AI has a lot of promise in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Feels like we're making strides. It really does feel like we're starting to make some strides, Maria. Thank you, Maria. Hopefully, crossing fingers. Yes. Yeah. Have a good weekend. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.